Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another video on my channel. So the topic of today's video is Fimura 13 review or the review of Fimura 2024. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another video on my channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about Fimura 13 in 2024. So this is a review video of Fimura 13. Hopefully it is helpful for you, okay? Yeah, I thought about making this video maybe for a week or stuff like that. And I also I tried to write a script using AI to talk about Filmora, including yeah, the ease of use, performance feature, and pricing plan or stuff like that. By the way, I think the, the script from the AI is too robotic or too fake. So I decided to make a video like this why I talk about Filmora, everything about Filmora, all the information I know about the program and also my experience. So hopefully it is helpful for you. By the way, we want to just, just go part by part. So the first part is about the ease of use. What I think about the program. Okay, so first thing first, in my opinion, it is super easy to use, especially for those of you who don't know about editing video, you are just a beginner. It is very simple to use. For example, this is the user interface of Filmora 13. Okay, so this is the start page and we can start a new project. Just click here to start a new project. Okay, and you see that it is yeah, similar to other video editor on the internet. We have the preview window here on the right side and we have the timeline at the bottom. So at the timeline, you can arrange your footage like image, video, audio, and stuff like that. So you can design your timeline thumb thumb or your story here at the timeline. And it will be reviewed here. And we have all the most important folder here on the left side. For example, if we go to the media, for example, I have a media here. For example, a meme. And we have a video here. We can drag drop it onto the timeline. And we have a display here. Or we have a preview window here something like this okay and if we want to add a title or transition or any special effect we can go to this folder for example we can go to the folder and then we can drag and drop a title template onto the timeline and yeah we can mute this video and we see the title okay so it is very easy just drag and drop we go to transition effect and filter and sticker and template or stuff like that. We just want to drag and drop it onto the timeline to apply it. For example, we can use this one. This is a new template. So this is how it works in Filmora 13. And I think it is super easy to navigate inside the program. Okay, so that is the first point. Ease of use or the user interface of Filmora 13. By the way, that is the first thing. It is about the user interface and the ease of use. And the second thing you want to consider is about the performance. To be honest, if you want to edit video using Filmora or other video editor, you need to have a strong computer. Otherwise, it will be lucky like shit. You cannot edit the video and you cannot even play the video, review the video. But in Filmora, we have many options to, to reduce the hardware requirement. For example, if the computer is not strong enough, you can reduce the preview quality by half or one fourth of the original quality like this and then you can review your video smoothly okay so this is the first solution and the other solution is to hit the render button if you think that it is too laggy or stuff like that you can hit the render preview so it will create a preview render for smooth playback so i think it is interesting for those of you who are using a low-end computer okay i can click cancel Okay, so for example, the timeline become green like this and you can preview the video smoothly. And you can even create the proxy and you can even create proxy for your video. For example, you can go back to your media. If you want to preview your video on your low end computer, you can right click here and create proxy file. But remember to delete the proxy file after you finish the project because it will take a lot of resources on your computer okay so that is the performance i think it's good to use on low-end computer but it's best to have a strong computer to edit video and using Filmora 13 okay so now we talk about the feature so in Filmora 13 we have 
maybe three parts. The first part is the screen recorder. So you can record your computer screen with audio and webcam. And the second part is the video editor, where you can cut and trim your video, a transition at text and color grading, and do some kind of advanced feature like motion tracking, keyframing, and also there's a bunch of different tools you can use to edit your video and audio. And the third part is the AI tools. So now in Femora 13, we have a new AI toolbox. So let's close this one and don't save. Where you can use all the AI tools. So this is the AI toolbox. Okay. And just click here and you find all the toolbox here. And you find all the AI tools here. For example, the screen recorder, AI text to video, AI text by editing. You can edit your video like editing text and silent detection. You can find all the silent in your video and remove the silent easily. Avatar presentation is the interesting tool where you can generate an avatar or animated avatar based on your camera. Okay. And AI copywriting. So it is similar to ChatGPT. You can ask Filmora to write a script for your video or find a knowledge, stuff like that. And we have the instant cutter. So this is the tool where you can cut the video, like making it shorter without decoding it. So I think it's interesting. Auto reframe is something that you can convert your horizontal video into vertical video easily with the auto reframe. Okay. And there's an instant mode with the template video creator. So you can use this option to generate a video using a template inside the program. Okay. So there are many tools here, by the way, we have an AI toolbox. So that is the third part of Filmora. So in my opinion, I think the feature in Filmora 13 is good enough to use as a beginner or as a YouTuber like me. So normally I produce video for my vlog gaming channel. And also I have some tutorial channel like this. So I also use Filmora 13 to create my video. So I think it's good enough, but maybe you are more professional or maybe you want more advanced feature. You have to look for another program. Okay. So that is the third part about the feature of Filmora 13. And I think it's good, especially for a beginner and casual user. Finally, we want to talk about the pricing plan. If you want to try Filmora 13, you can just download it and resist a free account. But if you want to buy it, they have different plan for you. For example, if you want to buy it one year or a subscription plan for one year, it is 50 US dollar per year. And for a cross platform, including mobile phone, window, Mac OS or stuff like that, you need to pay about 70 US dollar per year. And for a perpetual plan with a lifetime plan for one version, it is 80 US dollar per year. By the way, if you purchase this one, this plan, but back to a plan, you have the limitation of the AI credit. And now they give only 1000 female AI credit for the perpetual plan. It is not 2000 like previous version. And for the cross platform, it is 200 female AI credit per month. And for the subscription plan, it is 200 female AI credit per month. So I think they change the change the pricing plan here. Normally for this plan and this plan, it is unlimited AI credit, but now they change it to 200 femora AI credit per month. Yeah, I, I don't like this chain. By the way, they change the pricing plan all the time, change the thing in the plan all the time. So if you want to just use the tools like editing video, editing audio, stuff like that, you want to go with this plan, perpetual plan. So it is 80 US dollar for a lifetime. And I have 20% discount coupon code, which is in the description. You want to purchase this plan. Okay. And even this plan, I also have coupon code. Okay. So just go ahead to the link in the description to buy it. By the way, once you purchase any plan, for example, subscription plan or perpetual plan, we will have the account like this. Let's go to my account. Okay. Create a project. So I already subscribed to this annual plan. So I have one annual plan and one perpetual plan. And we can log in to our account and then see our account status here. So this is the overview of my subscription plan. Okay. And this is upgrade for free 
and Femora AI credit total credit 100 what the hell okay so Femora AI credit is unlimited expiration date okay so it is unlimited thank you otherwise I will have to claim them because when I purchase the plan it is unlimited and now it is 200 per month okay so this is my account and this is my subscription plan and I have another perpetual plan but yeah I, I don't think we need to show you by the way we have all the tools here we can cut the video trim the video we can use the smart cut out or AI portrait and stuff like that and we can export the video up to 4k but we cannot use all the paid effect for example we have many paid effect here video effect we have the pinky diamond button here and we have the boris epic and new blue fx style like that we cannot buy them we cannot use them okay if we want to use them we have to purchase more so that is the subscription library of femora okay so they just get free trial style like that so we want to get free trial and we want to go to the plan so this is the plan 21 years dollar per month okay so we have free month today and start seven day free trial stuff like that so this is the subscription library you don't have it if you purchase a license of femora okay okay so in conclusion i think femora 13 is a good software especially for a beginner who want to edit video and start making youtube video but you need to be careful about their subscription service including the best subscription library and also you want to select the right pricing plan otherwise it will be very annoying if you purchase a license and then you need to pay more to to get the feature inside the program okay so that's everything you want to know in this video i hope it is helpful for you if you have any question about femora let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye